Hi all, welcome to the second video in the series of Java tutorials. In this video, I'm going to explain JUnit testing. JUnit testing is used to make sure that each class that you have written works correctly individually. Now this is a simple rectangle class which has height and width and bottom left coordinates. It has some methods like area, getters and setters, constructors, diagonal, perimeter, longer and shorter sides, and equals, some of which have intentionally been implemented incorrectly. What we are going to do is, in our project, we are going to create a new package for all the tests that are going to be there. And in that package, we'll create a new JUnit test case. We'll call this test test rectangle. I usually like to name my tests as test followed by the class that we are testing. You can choose JUnit 3 or JUnit 4. I'll explain the differences in a while. I'm going to select JUnit 4. Then you select which class would you like to test. And this is where you type in the rectangle class from the model package. You go to next and select the methods that we'd like to test. I'm going to have a lot of methods that I'd like to test, eight methods actually, and finish. Eclipse will give you a prompt message to add JUnit 4 to the build path and you do that. A new Java file is created which contains eight tests. This add the rate test is called an annotation. It's like a label or a special meanings comment. It tells Eclipse that this is actually a test method which either passes or fails. In this implementation or the default implementation, it fails with the message that it has not yet been implemented. So if I run this test case, it gives me 8 out of 8 errors. And the message it gives me is that this has not yet been implemented. Now, since we are testing the rectangle class, we are going to create a rectangle object with width height 5, width 4 and bottom left coordinate, coordinates at 0, 0. We would like this rectangle to have an area of 20. So we say assert true, sorry, assert equals 20 is in fact the area of this rectangle R. So assert equals 20 comma R dot area. 20 is the expected value and R dot area is the actual value. Assert equals is a method from org dot junit dot assert and it succeeds if these two values are equal. If these two values are not equal, it fails. We run this and it succeeds. Area is actually 20. That the area method it was not incorrect it was correct actually height times width then we test the setter for height again I'll do something like this I'll create a rectangle object this time a default constructor and then I will set the height of this rectangle to minus 4 now according to my logic in rectangle.java class height is automatically set to the positive value 
that's what we are testing that four and height of the rectangle are actually equal. Now you can see that two tests have passed. So eight tests were run, six have failures, while two have passed. We'll run a similar similar test for set height, set width. And check that the width has now become four. So now three tests have passed. Of course, what you want to do is you not only want to run, run one test, but you want to run a couple of tests. So what happens if it's seven? And what happens if it's assigned to be zero? So you write the tests correctly. The fourth one is test diagonal. We create a rectangle object and create it with uh, 5 comma 4 and 0 comma 0. The, the, the value of its diagonal should be square root of 5 square plus 4 square, which is square root of 41. Now, if I run this, it gives an, it strikes the cert equals out because this is not valid for J unit 4 test cases. J unit 4, when you compare two double values, expects you to pass the tolerance to counter the rounding of errors. So that's it. So what we are saying is that the difference between these two values should be a maximum of 0.01. We test the perimeter. Again, we create a, a rectangle, and the perimeter should be 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4, which is 18. Longer side, the rectangle is 5, 4, 0, 0. And the longer side should actually be 5. Similarly, shorter side and lastly equals. So we create two rectangles R and S. First rectangle is 2 by 10, second is of 5 by 4. And we are now asserting false. So we are asserting, we are checking if the condition that we pass into this method be false because these two rectangles are not equal. Okay. The different assert statements are here. I've already explained assert equals. You can pass, pass two integers, they should be exactly equal. You can have assert equals double, double, and then another double, which is the tolerance. Assert true. This expression should be true for the test to pass. Similarly, assert false. This expression should be false to pass the test. You have assert null, where you have an object. That object should be null to pass. And lastly, assert not null object, where the object should not be null to pass the test. These are the different assert statements. We run these JNA tests and see, we see that there are two failures. Diagonal. So what we do is we double click on the diagonal keyword 
and hold the control button in Windows or command button in Mac and open the implementation. Click on it. So it takes you to the implementation of Diagonal which says the implementation is width times width plus height times height. Hmm. Test rectangle. Ah, the problem is that the diagonal run this and diagonal passes, which is correct. Sorry, I've called the wrong constructor earlier. So the constructor is 5.4.0.0. The one that fails is perimeter. You double click and open implementation. Perimeter, I have incorrectly implemented as width plus height, while it should be two times width plus height. So in this way, you can correct your mistakes going into the class which is being tested. We run this, and all of them pass. When all of them pass, that's when your tests are correct. Please note one thing, that In equals, I have a condition that width should be equal and heights should be equal. So the reason, right now my tests pass, which gives me a sense that, okay, equals works correctly. But at the same time, if I have R re-instantiated as Five by four and s is also five by four. Then r dot equals s should be true because they are the same rectangles. That's okay. I reinstantiate them so that one of them is four by five and the other one is five by four. And they should be the same because r is nothing but a rotated s. While it says that the test has failed because r dot equals s is not true. So it says here assertion error, which means that you are looking for true, but you got false. So then you can go into equals, open implementation, and see what's the problem. So the problem is this. So what I, I'm looking to do is either their width either their widths should be equal and heights should be equal or width of one rectangle should be the height of the other one and height of the other rectangle should be the width of the other one. So we can write this condition. You go to package of a test case and run this and now it passes again. So we've thereby corrected our method logic. A much, much, much simpler way of doing this is just to check if this dot diagonal is the same as other dot diagonal. That's it. If the two rectangles have the same diagonals, then the two rectangles are equal. And it succeeds. So that's how you test a Java project or more specifically that's how you test a class of a Java project. Thank you.